And they said, oh, you could have been charged as a sex offender. Mark shit, y'all niggas capping. Y'all niggas faggots, y'all like the chump dick. Four L gang, really a savage. I'm not with the op shit. You say you want smoke, you don't want no smoke. You running the 12. I kept me a Glock. I had to do five when I was 12. Let's pop it for our G Squad, man. Anyways, man, well, we got a new video today. It's back to a new video, man. And today, man, we got a little story time for y'all. So basically, I'm going to tell the story of how I got caught in this girl house by her dad. I look sick. Anyways, so basically how it all happened. So I'm at this girl crib, you feel me? We chilling, we chilling. You know me. So if some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Smash the like button and comment down below. And make sure to follow us on IG. But yeah, basically what happened, man, we was at the crib, we was chilling. You feel me? I walked to the crib, had to get me a, you know, the, a rubble, a rubble, rubble. You feel me? And then, I got the, you know, I got me the rope. I go to the crib. Booty fat. Fat. Like, damn. Take these off, take these off, feel me? You just chilling, feel me? You know you don't just jump right into it. But you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dog, you feel me? I'm horny. I'm looking at that band. I'm like, damn, in my head, you feel me? I ain't wanna say that loud. I ain't wanna look like I'm feening. So then I'm looking at it, I'm like, jeez, bitch. Yeah, I took off the pants, you feel me? She had a little, little boy shorts. I'm like, fuck. Smacked the ass one time. That bitch just wobbled. I said, damn, you know, you know you grab the cheek, my guys. You grab the cheek and you just shake that shit. You feel me? Let me chill, you feel me? I lay it down. You feel me? I ain't really get into the oral. How you know? I did a little uh uh. You feel me? A little uh uh. A little eh. You feel me? You know how it went down. You feel me? I had to slap down the drawers. Bam! I had two condoms. I had some broke ass shit and had a magnum. So I was trying to go at least two rounds, you feel me? And then skid out, you feel me? At first, you know, really, a nigga like me, a one hit off, gone. So yeah, you feel me? I'm clapping them shits, I'm clapping that shit. You feel me? I'm in there like this. Leg up when you. You feel me? My pickle juice all over her back, her booty. Cause at first I was finna bust in it, I was finna say fuck it. Then I'm like, hell nah. I'm the type of nigga I'ma pull out with a condom. You feel me? You feel me? Like, like Big Sean said. I'm the type to have a bulletproof condom and still gotta pull out. Yeah. So then I'm still horny. I first I usually I got album views. I was like my second body. Yeah, second body. And then I was like, nigga like me, I'm like, uh, usually I'd be like, uh, I don't wanna fuck no more. I'm done. Gone. I lasted like, it was good. I probably lasted like five minutes. Blame the pee pee, not the wee wee. Then I said, I'm good. Then I'm like, nah, the boy wanna go down. You feel me? Hmm. Bitch still hard like a cucumber. Dick was still on jawbreaker. You feel me? Dick still on the jawbreaker. I'm trying to break her jaws. You feel me? So me and my dog Saint, man. Shout out Saint, man. That's my little dog. That's my fucking nigga. That's my slime. He coming back soon. You gonna see him in the videos. But yeah, my nigga Saint and Mike, we went back to Walgreens because I was still horny. My dog said you try to train her. I said what? I said nah, you tripping? Like we can't do that. You can't do that. But yeah. I'm like, damn. At first, I thought about it. Then I'm like, uh, 
nah, maybe it won't go down, you feel me? She not even like, oh, fuck with it. I said, fuck it. I said, no, nah, we can't do it. So we go to Walgreens, and then there was condoms. You feel me? I was like, I forgot what grade I was in. But I'm like, damn, I ain't got no money. I had no job. Bitch, I used to hoop. No job. All I do is play ball. And now I'm like, damn. I ain't got no money to buy no condoms. Every homeboy I asked had no condoms. No. I actually had another condom. Like I was saying earlier, I had another condom. But it was called some ATF shit. Like the shit they give you at the, um, when you catch that shit, you feel me? And they give you condoms and shits. I forgot what it was called. But yeah, they, I had one of them shits. I tried to use that whole. That shit was so small. I'm like, what? What is this? And it, it didn't fit. It didn't. It wasn't working. And then I'm like, fuck. I'm still horny, man. I said, hold up, bro. At first, I just left, and I said, fuck that. I'm coming back. Feel me? That 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 that, that kitty was too. That that kitty was purring. You feel me? I'm like, damn, I gotta get back into him. I got to, I got to. So you feel me? We go back to my, we go back to Walgreens. You feel me? I'm like, fuck that. I'm still in the condom. I stole a box of condoms. Part my homeboy stole something with me. I don't know why he stole some. He just took them. I'm like, all right, that's you. I'm getting me a nut again. So then we, we, we. I'm back at her crib. You feel me? I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. You feel me? I'm like, damn. At first I thought we were gonna smash her, her people's room. I'm like, that's tough. That's tough. Nah, I'm not with that. So we go back in the room. I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. Feel me? I'm hitting that bitch from the back. That bitch thick. Like, you know, thick bitches. Like, a thick bitch. Like, slim waist. That thick. Fat booty. She had a fat ass booty. I can't even lie. And then I'm hitting her. I hear keys. I said, whoa. I'm like, maybe I'm tripping. I'm in there like this. I hear keys, I'm like. And, and, I mean, I hear keys and I'm about to nut. I'm like, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm looking at the door, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Boom. And then her dad came to the door. She knocked, he knocked on the door, banging on the door. I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to die. Today is the day I die. I was going to die, he was going to kill me. Our father walked in, his daughter cheeks and getting clapped. I was going to die, it was over. My life was over, my friends wasn't there. They were all at my other homeboy's house which was down the street. It was done from there, my life was over. So then, eventually, the girl opens the door. I didn't know where to hide. She had a last room, so I went to a closet. I'm sitting on something. My dumb ass, this nigga, first place he checked, place he checked was the closet. I'm talking about he just moving curtains. All you hear is, shing. I said, oh shit, shing. I said, oh, I'm next. And then before he opened my eyes, I just stood up. I was gonna give my explanation. I was gonna say we were just doing homework together, a project. That man looked at me. He said, oh. Slap the fuck out of it. I'm talking about not no talk, not no eh. He used a five. Open that shit. Me like I was his son. I said, damn. And you know me, I'm a real ass nigga. No nigga gonna slap me. No. I win in that nigga shit first quarter. So we just brawling. I'm talking about he slapped the fuck out of me. I'm like, oh, fuck. No, I, re I retaliated so quick. I said, fuck. Just punch that nigga straight in his shit. And then, you know, he, he, he was Haitian, you feel me? So he was just talking. He basically, he was like, oh, you want to fight? Oh, you want to fight? Bitch, you just slapped me. Of course I want to fight. What? Are you dumb, bozo? And then we fighting. We we really just wrestling. I'm trying to. I'm trying. These niggas. I'm talking about dad. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I'm talking about dad. Cut. Swole. Bald. 
I said, shit. I didn't know her Because I ain't gonna lie, I knew her brother. Her brother was some Haitian nigga. He used to go to the park sometimes. And then he was kind of, feel me? He was kind of weef. You feel me? He was kind of weef. And I'm like, all right. And then I ain't never seen their dad before. I seen their mom, the other sister. It's crazy. Another story. But yeah, his other sister. And shit, I knew them. I knew how they look. And then I see the, I see the, um, dad. That same day I got caught, dad swore. I'm like, oh shit. I'm gonna get my ass whooped. So then we, we wrestling on the bed. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. Like, fucking, you know, when they grab each other, when they just. We just wrestling. I threw him on the bed. I got blessed. And then the stupid bitch closed the door, bruh. I said, bitch, what the fuck you. What? What? And then I open the door on. I open the door. I I tried to run. That nigga. I, I had that nigga fucked up. He snagged me. Grabbed my pants. I had no shirt on. Yeah, I had no shirt shirt on. So, what you expect? Yeah, I'm gone. So yeah. So yeah, I had no shirt on. He grabbed me by my pants. I had the pants to this day. These pants. He grabbed me by the pants. By the waistline, bro. Fucking waistline. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. And then, bro, he grabbed me. We outside, kind of like near the, it's a little house, you feel me? It's like, we by the bathroom and kind of near the living room. And then he grabbed me. I'm trying to sky this nigga, you feel me? I'm trying to, bam! I can't do that. He's, he is huge. I couldn't do nothing. So he got me in this position where he's holding me like this and, you know, I'm under like this. I said, fuck that. You got to do what you got to do. I need him in the dick. I went to... <coughs> went to straight me and that nigga, bro. That man got balls of steel. I'm talking about I'm needing him. He just... Ugh, ugh, ugh. I said, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm dead. Ain't nothing. I need this man in the balls. In the balls. There's nothing I can do after that. I don't know out of nowhere. I'm trying to get out of shit. We in the bathroom. We wrestling. The bathroom tiny as shit. I'm talking about these four corners right here, bro. A toilet right here. A sink and a bath behind me right there. If you, you can't really see, but it's small. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then we started fighting. He got me in a chokehold. I'm still trying to wrestle, you feel me? I'm like, fuck that, I can get out of this. And then I'm like, nah, this Haitian, this Haitian too fucking strong. He grabbed me by the neck. He just holding me. I mean, he like, he, he speaking Creole. He like, he like, stop! I got a police! I got a police! I got a police! He, he's talking to his girl. Not his girl, I mean, his daughter. Got a police! Got a police! I'm in the bathroom! I'm in the bathroom! I said, bro, let me go. I'm elbowing this nigga. He's choking me. I said, bro, you got that. Hey, fuck now. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm, I want my life. I want my life. And then he said, chill out. He telling me, chill. He's like, if you chill, I will chill. I'm like, all right, bet. At first, I was, I was saying, fuck that. This nigga will kill me. But then after that, he let me go. Not after that. Like, he, he loosened up. And then, you know what this bitch sneaky ass nigga did? He choked me harder and elbowed me. Hum, 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 hum. Straight elbows, slap to the rib. I'm like, you a bitch. You a real bitch. I'm like, we go fight outside. We go fight outside. But then police came, and then we were just talking. Bitch, I grabbed everything. They told me to leave everything in the in the bathroom. And then that's when we were just chilling. They talking, doing their little thing. Blah blah blah. I was straight regardless, because the girl let me in the crib, but I was not going back there ever again. And then they told me to get everything out in the house. I couldn't find my slides. And then they didn't know, we, you feel me? They didn't know we boom, boom, you feel me? And then the cop, he was walking in the room. And then I think she was like 17, 